This is Leslie Claire Jones, and I'm going to show you today um, something I got in the mail I ordered. Uh, I'm just getting my craft room finished. I will be giving another tour very soon. If you haven't seen my first tour, I will leave a link in the description box below. I've got um, several uh, tour videos that I'm going to make, um, kind of dividing up how I organize everything. But this video is just going to be a quick haul um, to tell you about a product that I found. I watch Shannon Green on um, YouTube and I will link to her. Um, I will link to her Etsy shop and I will link to her YouTube channel for you. And she makes um, Traveler's Notebook covers. But they're a different size. They're more for uh, the rest of us who don't want to buy thin paper or cut off and waste that paper. So what she does is she gets a very unique substance or, or material. And she fuses it a couple of pieces together. And she makes these little travel notebook size. This size right here is... size for a quarter sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. So this is the instructions on how to do the binding here, how to do this, um, these ties and elastics. So you can take them out and you can decorate the, um, this material itself. I'll tell you what it is in just a minute. Um, and uh, so she, this is the instructions she sends for it, but she's also got a video on how to do it. Anyway, what she uses, you, you see this up here, and I know you saw this a little bit here, um, and you said that this one's different. You don't get to choose the design because what she's using is old billboards. This is those vinyl billboards that are on the side of the road. Um, she got one, one of her videos she talks about she gets it uh, it was a The Walking Dead poster, and it's the billboard they use. So it's a vinyl material, and she f has to fuse a couple of layers together somehow. She hasn't released uh, that secret, uh, but she just buys the old billboards, and then they send them to her, and it's just recycling. And I think it's brilliant. And she um, has decoupage. She's used acrylic paint directly on it. She's gessoed and then used acrylic paint. So I'm excited to get to um, decorate mine. Except that I love the fact that this one's got a hand on it. And then it's got this kind of uh, nature-y vibe. So I might just decoupage something here and then something over in this area. Just kind of do a little bit of a collage instead of completely changing this one. But um, again, this one is quarter sheet size, so this was in it, and it is just a folded up piece of eight and a half by 11. And see, there's the instructions. She's very clear with the instructions. And of course, with her video. Okay, so this is the um, smaller size, quarter size. So it's a little bigger than five and a half and four and by four and a quarter and the reason is that so that there's a little bit of overhang with the edge of the book for it the second one isn't as interesting on the outside so i can completely cover it without being upset but you see that's it i have no idea it's very interesting because it makes me want to guess what was on the billboard but i have no idea so here is this one, and this one has a little bit here because remember she's taking two, um, or they both have a little bit on the inside, but she's taking two pieces of this vinyl and fusing them together. And um, so I'm going to do some collaging and some mixed media and cover this one with papers and, and that sort of stuff over and over and see what I can come up with here. And I may do a partial collage here or I may just go ahead and do the whole thing. Um, but I wanted to show you these really cool, it's, it's, you see how flexible they are, but yet they're really sturdy too. I mean, that's it. 
And then I have folded, for this large size, um, it is just a folded in half, eight and a half by 11. So travel, traveler's notebooks are actually a little bit, oops, sorry. Traveler's notes, notebooks are a little bit narrower, but these um, she has specifically made for us, hey, eight and a half by 11, because I don't want to waste any paper. So there's eight and a half by 11 papers folded, several of them, and if I put them in the binding, it's right there. Uh, ignore the holes. You don't have to poke holes in your paper. Um, if you've never seen these, this is how it goes. You take your piece of paper or your stack of papers, any papers. These would make great junk journals. I think that's what I'm planning to do is make a mixed media junk um, journal for me. Um, calendar planner. Uh, I just don't do that cutesy, cutesy planner stuff. Okay, and then once you get it folded, there you go. And then this is this is a signature, and then you could put another set of folded papers here on the center band, and another here. And then once and Shannon sends them with complete instructions. And once you put in your um, uh, different signatures into each section, then this final one you would tie off and it holds the um, all of these elastics together. And again, she gives you a really good instruction sheet. That's not it. Sorry for moving me around so much. She gives you a really good instruction sheet uh, on how to do it. So, um, then um, I had asked her if she had any scraps, and she told me that she didn't have any scraps, but um, sometimes she puts factory seconds on her Etsy shop. And actually, the, after I bought mine, there were, I think, 24 of the journals um, this size left, and I don't remember how many of the small size. Um, and when I went the next day, there were none. So when she puts out a video, they go pretty quick, and, and she makes them all by hand. So this is completely touched by Shannon Green, and I'm just like, oh, so excited. And then I'm excited because right here, I'm, I'm trying to get it in the light so that you can see it without it being, let's take it off. She stuck on here a little tag. Do you see that? What she's taken is this is that same material bulletin board material and she has collaged over it if you can see right there that's book paper and um paints and you know the total shannon green way and a stamp across the middle and made a little tag and it says heart shannon or sg and so i'm gonna keep this it's gonna stay in my journal i'm gonna make it be a um bookmark i think uh in there and then you know, I will always have that little bit there. Love her videos. If you've never checked her out, please check her out because she's got awesome, awesome tips on just being creative and having fun and playing. She doesn't do uh, perfect art journal pages. She shows you how to be free and create, and you end up with an amazing piece when you get through. Um, soon, when I finish my craft room, I will be uploading some videos um, that where I do use her techniques and make, uh, I'll show you uh, the process where I make this uh, using mixed media and um, make it into a junk journal style planner. Uh, so, I, you know, I've got a lot that's coming up. You should see the list of projects that I want to do for, for YouTube. So, uh, if, hit the subscribe button. And then besides subscribe, there will be a little bell. And if you'll click that, then you'll get notified every time I do a video. And that way you won't miss anything, any kind of new something. Because, you know, you can learn and play with me and we'll both learn together. Or if you're an old fogey who's been on here for years, which, you know, I've been on here for years, so I'm an old fogey, I'll tell you Then you might find something that you like too. I'm not doing anything new. I will always be doing something that somebody else has done, just presenting it in my own way. I don't know that I ever have my own unique ideas. 
uh, because I watch so many YouTube videos and look at Pinterest and for ideas and all of that combines together into whatever comes out when I create. So we will um, create together and hit the like button if you like my videos and go check Shannon Green out and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.